Coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Baltimore Ravens taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, the Ravens have perennially been in the conversation. This year, they knock down that door, they win the AFC, and here they are in the Super Bowl. And remember, they've won in recent years. Super Bowl 35 in Tampa, Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans. What a stretch they could put together if they could claim another title here. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're trying to pull off what only three teams have done before, go from Super Bowl losers to Super Bowl champions. Last team to do that, the Patriots, Super Bowl 52 and 53. Before that, you've got to go back to the Dolphins in Super Bowls 5 and 6 and the Cowboys in Super Bowls 4 and 5. And off we go from Las Vegas. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. This throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Again from the 20 after the incompletion, here's second and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Hurts. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Fighting to stay upright. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. From the gun, it's Hurts. 
This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And it's caught on the right side at Smith. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. The quick feet by Jackson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. That's going deep for Bateman. And this one is incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Second and ten. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. 
And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Henry up the middle. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Henry. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Throwing is Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Tucker's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now, they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, You've got to hit the jackpot there. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he's across midfield to the 48. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. 
So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. He'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now a second and ten. Back to throw again. Got him in. It's Brown. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. So Hertz is off and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Elliott is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Baltimore's set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Now it's Jackson. A slant route caught by Bateman. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. Every lineman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. After the penalty, it's Henry. There's a nice move. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 10-3 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and three. From midfield now, here's Jackson. He's got it complete, Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. They go play action to Jackson. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of ten. And it'll bring up second. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. A toss left, Henry. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole, third and long. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. On the return from his end zone, Rodgers. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A very well-executed play. It goes for 29 yards. 
Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 41. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, it's Barkley. Fights loose. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Play action. Here's Hurts. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second down and three. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Hurts. finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Elliott on for the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. Hill shedding the tackle. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he's going to wind up bringing this one inside the 45-yard line. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made. It's the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 59 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Here's Jackson to throw. Slings it to Andrews, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Jackson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, C.D., and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in the red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now Jackson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. These guys had to set a fourth field goal the last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but was six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. Here's Isaiah Rogers to return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with an eight-point lead, probably not too much of an impetus to try and do too much here.
But first down, Hurts. That is incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys will take over at the 14-yard line in the red zone. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, and pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they talk about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Now Jackson on second down. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They're going to look to throw. Staying on his feet. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. I'd love to know what he's saying in the huddle now to his guys up front because it's been a steady stream of pressure on him this entire game. That time, able to avoid the sack, but he's got to talk to his offensive line and say, guys, just a couple seconds extra, please. Tucker's kick is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It's a pickup of seven, and it is also the final play of the first half. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 74 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, but he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Meanwhile, Jackson's thrown into the hands of Andrews. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now Jackson. Throw left side complete. That's Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll take this down to the 44-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A first down carry for Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. And a call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards especially on third down yeah that one how about the defense figured that one out in a big way yeah they completed it all right and lost yardage and he missed it it's no good and this will remain a five-point game well, he might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50, first and 10. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
55 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one, as he just did there. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be a second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. They go play action with Hurts. Oh, and man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Elliott good with a PAT, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Now Jackson on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. They'll try the right side with Henry. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Jackson now. That's caught. It's Flowers. And he's brought down. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now second and five. Throwing is Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. 
he wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Jackson will throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 28. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. At this point in the game, and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Third quarter, Super Bowl 58. Here's a second and 10 now. Running from the gun with Henry. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 19-yard line. 109 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And a busy night for Henry continues. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Throwing on first down. It's Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. It's Devontae Smith and the Eagles ready to go on offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, complete. It's Brown. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Here's Hurts to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. 
Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. When a linebacker diagnoses a screen, who wins? The quarterback getting a throw over to the back in time or the linebacker running in to knock it away? With the athleticism of modern linebackers, they win the race more often than not. Throwing his hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Barkley inside handoff. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Hurt sets up to throw it. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. Short completion, just four yards. And that will bring up second down. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium. It's Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Eagles on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third down and 12. It's caught, Smith. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 34-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A first down carry for Barkley. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll run wide side here with Barkley, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. The kick by Elliott is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game.
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Now it's Jackson. That pass is caught by Hardy. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Ball on the 27. Here's second and two. Jackson options out left. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was, because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback, and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping it air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Jalen Carter able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. This offense ready for their upcoming series as we get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. He's north of 150 yards in this game. He's been doing his thing, hasn't he? That he has, and he's been enjoying himself. And it's the type of game that you get locked into a pretty good groove. May not be record-shattering, but it's the type of game that if you accumulate that throughout a season, you can be one of the top receivers in the game. See how much they incorporate him here on this drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The good signal calls will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Second down, here's Hurts. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Most of damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. He'll get two out of that run and it's gonna bring up a second and goal. 
I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? You go to the drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? All right, ball at the one-yard line, fourth down. What do you say? I say go, because if you can't get one yard, you must see the old adage, if I can't get one yard, I don't deserve to win anyway. Tell your team it's that time. Who's going to get down into the trenches, grind it out, and make sure that ball gets in the end zone? Who's it going to be? Let's go do it. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. And yeah, they're going to speed things up here. In motion left, Bateman. Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. Seven yards there and a first down. To throw is Jackson. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Another try, second and 10 now. Again, Jackson. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Jalen Carter in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And the pressure gets to him again. Jalen Carter in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And twice in a row, the quarterback goes down. This offense needs two scores, not giving up two sacks. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. 
So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. the middle with Barkley and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line call it a gain of a couple and that's going to leave him with a third and about five when we talk about defenders specifically linebackers keeping their eyes in the right spot he had that eye down the entire time and you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you they try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place but you're right about that one he correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play and walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They wanted that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.